Hey guys! Yeah, I'm feeling good. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel! Don't mind the glare in the glasses. I ran out of contacts, so I've been wearing my glasses more. Like, obviously can't see. Anyway, today's video, I'm so excited. I was just visiting my cousin Caitlin, and her skin's pretty much perfect. So I looked at all her skincare she uses, and I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I do that a lot, you know? Maybe stick to one routine, but no. I'm gonna get everything she uses and try it out for you guys, and I'm gonna try out this little Whole Foods skincare routine because she got everything from Whole Foods so I'm just calling it that little keyword in the title of course I vlogged Florida and I'm so excited to upload my video but I literally have years of footage that's probably gonna take me way too long to edit so I have this little video planned first and the Florida one will come out Saturday I'm so excited Whole Foods organic natural-esque like I love I love products like that because a lot of self-care products have ingredients that you literally can't even pronounce like why are you using that if you don't even know what's in it not to like sound like that but like really I don't know I'm a fan of all natural I love it I don't even know if the stuff that I'm getting is all natural or not but I'm at Whole Foods and I feel like that's healthy <laughs> I also love the self-care section of Whole Foods do you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna go show you obviously but like oh my gosh something about it I'm really excited I'm gonna try the skincare routine for like at least two weeks see how it affects my skin but right now I'm just going to buy all the products I haven't actually started it yet and I'm gonna do it with you guys and it's gonna be so fun so stay tuned I don't know why I'm like talking like Austin McBroom stay tuned what is up ace family all right let's just go into whole foods guys i'm so excited i wish i looked cute right now so i could be like a cute little whole foods girly but i'm totally not i just got out of work the fit goes crazy <laughs> i can't oh my god it's beautiful in here like literally a grocery store look at the plants stop it okay let's make our way to the little self-care aisle i think it's in the middle this is the aisle i'm talking about guys how cool hold on i really don't know where anything is though i never come here let's see this looks like all supplements this looks more skincare-esque, but honestly, it's the most random brand ever like I don't even know where it would be Oh my gosh, I found them. They're these little tea tree oil pads. So this is like skincare I think hair care and body care more over there, but oh my gosh I'm so excited that they actually have it. I don't know like why I thought they wouldn't she was also telling me rose water But not this brand. It's a different brand. It's in like a pink bottle, but I can't find it So I don't know if they have it. This is a picture. I took of her stuff I think she actually got this at Target. So maybe I'll have to go there and and this is from Trader Joe's. I'm so making up that this is Whole Foods skincare. Literally only this was from Whole Foods. But I thought I'd be able to like find other stuff here. Like the rose water spray. And I thought they would have Shea Moisture. They have Shea Moisture hair products here. But I guess not skincare. Like look, this is all Shea Moisture. Wouldn't you think they would carry its skincare too? I don't know. Oh wait, this is the brand Rose Water. That's good. But I don't see any. It's just castor oil. I feel lost. Wait. Guys, I totally spoke too soon. I found it. I don't even know what glycerin is. To be honest, I just want the regular rose water however i think this is it yeah it's literally that brand i don't know why the packaging looks different than i thought it did i don't know if i want the big one or the small one also let me look at the ingredients just take a peek i think it's just okay yeah it's just rose water that's awesome oh my god i used to love rose water in middle school that's the most random take ever but i did do i want the little one or the big one guys i mean the price difference isn't that dramatic oh this one's a facial splash this one's a facial mist i was thinking the facial mist but what is this? Oh, that's so fun. All right, I think I'm gonna get the big one. Guys, I don't know. And do I want the facial splash or the facial mist? Spray on face. This one, wipe it on your face. More like toner, I would think. All right, guys, I'm gonna buy these two and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's to get that facial scrub. 22 bucks, not that bad. I've secured the Whole Foods skincare. Guys, I couldn't tell you why this makes me so happy. Like, I cannot wait to do this. Now let's go to Trader Joe's to get the facial scrub. And I also want to get that Black African Soap face wash. So we'll probably go to Target too. I'm so excited. Like, this is so fun for me. I told you guys, I can't explain why. I don't know why. It just, it does something for me. Like, I'm getting all new skincare and I'm going to try it out. Like, that's just so much fun. Okay, let me like calm down. I'll see you guys at Trader Joe's. This is the new Trader Joe's. We had a smaller one, but now it's like huge and it's always so crowded. So I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like today. This is the scrub that we're looking for and I'm pretty sure it's over here. Here it is. It honestly has a ton of ingredients, but I trust Caitlin and that they're probably all fine. <laughs> it's actually like a cream. So it's really small little exfoliating things or whatever, but it kind of does look like a cream when it comes out. They also have rose water. I wonder what's in theirs. Oh yeah, see, this is the difference from the rose water that I got at Whole Foods. 
foods. This one has a bunch of different ingredients, including fragrance, which is obviously really bad. Let's make sure this has no fragrance. No, these ingredients look pretty good. Guys, this is a new product. It's like a vanilla lip mask. It's like a Laneige dupe. I haven't tried it yet, but I did buy it. But I've been waiting so I can do like a little review video. Oh my gosh, maybe I can review it during this video. I've always been so interested in Trader Joe's skincare. Like, is it good? Does it work? I don't know. Hyaluronic serum. Very few ingredients. I would have to Google those. I don't know what they are. I was looking at this moisturizer, but like, look. Look at how many ingredients that is. It's kind of crazy. I actually need a new eye cream, but this has fragrance in it, which obviously I don't want. Oh my gosh, they got new candles. Are you actually kidding me? Guys, I'm in love with Trader Joe's candles. Whoa, they have deodorant now. <gasps> Aluminum and baking soda free. What? Oh my gosh, I wonder if this actually works. Should I try it? Why do I kind of want to get it? I'm not going to get some because I already have some, but I really do like this facial sunscreen. It's SPF 40. Cleansing pads with tea tree. This is basically what I got at Whole Foods. Oh my gosh, I wonder if these are good. It's literally what I just got, but Trader Joe's version. Okay, I think I'm just going to stick with what I came here for. The scrub. Plus, I really want to try this deodorant. I don't know why. I've been trying to find a natural deodorant, but they never work, so I'm curious if this will. Last but not least, it just started raining, but I'm at Target. I don't know why. I legit have been to every store in the world today, but I really want to try the exact products that Caitlin uses because her skin is pretty much perfect. And I just love trying other people's skincare routine. Really weird habit. The only thing weird about Caitlin's skincare routine is that she doesn't use a moisturizer. Like what? I fully use a moisturizer probably like three times a day. You're actually kidding me. No. <laughs> They're all out of the one that I want. Daily hydrating foaming facial wash. No, I wanted the black African soap one. Oopsie. Oh my gosh, stop, I'll cry. I will. Guys, I'm so sad. Should I try CVS? I'm so serious. Like, I really wanted to try that one. Oh my gosh, is this like the giant chapstick Aquaphor? Have we seen people use that on TikTok? <laughs> the chronically online girl. You can use any Vaseline, but this is the Vaseline that I use for my eyelashes, if you guys were wondering. I get the little mini one. I just ran out, but I had like normal Vaseline, so I just refilled it. But it's nice to have a little one that you can throw in your bag and curl your lashes and do. All right, I actually need to get out of here before I buy something. Remember when Kylie Jenner got everyone to use this because she swore by it. <laughs> everyone, including me, I bought this just because she said she liked it. Or was it this one? Wait, I think it was this one. Like the teal one? Okay, what am I doing? All right, kind of heartbroken to be honest. <laughs> so dramatic. Oh my gosh. Now I just have to go to another store. I'm gonna go to CVS and see if they have it, but first I'm gonna Google it to make sure they even carry it because honestly, if they don't have it, I'm gonna cry. I don't know why I'm being dramatic and emotional. All right, let's Google this and make sure that CVS has it before I go. You guys are probably wondering, why don't you have a little coffee for your adventures. Don't worry, I do. If I was smart with my money, I wouldn't, but I did buy a little coffee because you know when you're just like going around town, like you just need something to sip on? It's a problem, it is. Well, it is a good thing that I Googled it because they in fact do not have it. It says Target has the foaming facial wash that I'm looking for, but they don't. It might be on Amazon, but then I can't try it out for you guys. Like one product, I'm fine. <laughs> It's also fully raining now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I love the sound of rain in the car. Actually, get out. I just love rain. I just love precipitation. Anyway, this is what I'm trying to look for if you guys remember. Doesn't this look crazy different from the picture though? Like, why is it so dark? I think I'm just gonna order on Amazon because it's out of stock at my Target. My Target's always out of stock though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, they're always out of a little too much. <laughs> it doesn't come till Monday, so I can't review it in this video. All right, $9.99, 10 bucks for this face wash. I feel like that's that's pretty good. Shea Moisture African Black Soap Foaming Facial Wash. All right, I just ordered it. It's gonna come on Monday. I'm so excited. Make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll post like a little review on it and like short form content. Sorry I couldn't get it for you guys today. Like you guys actually could care less. Anyway, I now have pretty much all of the products except for that face wash that Caitlin uses and I'm gonna go home and try it out for you guys. All right guys, we are back home. Just realized it's gonna be kind of tricky without glasses because I won't be able to see you guys. All right, I literally can't see you. First, let me show you everything that I got. Like, definitely should have waited to put the headband on. At Whole Foods, I got Desert Essence Tea Tree Oil Facial Cleansing Pads. Cruelty-free, vegan, non-GMO, no artificial fragrances, colors, silicones, mineral oil, phosphates. They sound pretty good. Directions for effectiveness. Thoroughly cleanse face and neck first. Sweep over chin, forehead, and neck. Okay! 
Okay, as you guys know, I didn't get my cleanser. So I'm just gonna use some micelle water. I'm not gonna be able to like see what I'm doing, but here we go. So I'm just using this as like a face wash to get my skin all clean for these new products. Wait, I'm so getting ahead of myself. I said that I'm gonna show you each product that I got and then I just started. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next up from Trader Joe's, I got the microdermabrasion scrub exfoliating cream. Dermatologist formulated. Nourish. Trader Joe's. <laughs> So many words. It says gently apply scrub to moist skin on chest, neck, or face, avoiding eye area. Massage gently for up to two minutes. Rinse well. Repeat as often as desired. It's like a very fine scrub. And oh my gosh, I struggle with like blackheads and like clogged pores on my chin and forehead. So I feel like this is what's really gonna get it out. Last but not least, as recommended from Caitlin, is the Heritage Store Rose Water. Refreshing facial mist. Reawaken skin and mood soothes with damask roses for all skin types vegan and cruelty free made without dyes and alcohol yes the original rose water this cult fave is two ingredients of versatility refresh set hydrate and uplift damask rose i don't know what that means vormag water what is that charges and energizes mood how to use spray liberally on face and hair throughout the day whenever you need a wake-up call hair is crazy the two ingredients are water and rosa damascana flower oil which is like the rose so like rose and water Ooh, water Vormag. When I was like, what is Vormag water? I'm probably pronouncing this wrong also. It says it has been vortexed and magnetized to raise the energy to a higher vibration. What? That's so cool. Good for people and good for the planet. Vegan and cruelty free, made without dyes, alcohol, parabens, or phthalates. I don't know. It says the bottle's pink so your rose water doesn't have to be, giving you the cleanest ingredients possible. Because a lot of people will add dyes to rose water to make it like nice and pink. But this one, the bottle is pink and the actual rose water is clear. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Also, just two random things I'm gonna be trying out for you guys. The Trader Joe's deodorant. Like, I didn't really have deodorant. It literally said new. Let's take a peek at it and then I'll show you guys actually later. Whoa, okay. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. The other thing that I wanna try in this video is the Trader Joe's vanilla lip mask. I got this a while ago because I was gonna review it in like a little short form content video, but I never did. <laughs> so we'll do these two last, but let's start out with this Trader Joe's microdermabrasion scrub because I just washed my face with the micelle water and then I feel like scrub, the tea tree pads, which is like cleanse and tone, and then the rose water acting like a moisturizing toner agent. I don't know, Caitlin doesn't use a moisturizer, which I feel like is crazy. Moisturizer is like my favorite part of the skincare routine. And you know when your skin gets dry and you like need a moisturizer? I don't know. I'm gonna trust the process. I'm not gonna use one But let me stop actually talking your ear off and let's get started. <laughs> okay glasses are coming off I literally can't see what I look like can't see you guys. I'm so blind. I need to call in some more contacts from Costco <laughs> Let's open up these tea tree pads Nice protective seal. Mm, oh my gosh. I love the smell of tea tree. It's so like clean and energizing. This is what they look like. A little bit of texture. Wait, shoot. I was gonna do the scrub first. I feel like this is kind of dry. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna do the scrub first. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Let's see if this has a little seal. That would be great. Probably doesn't. Oh, it does. Let's go. You only have to use a little bit, but I kind of have a big face. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna use that much. It smells really good. You can like smell like the clay. Is there any clay in this? There's like definitely no clay in this. But you know those face masks and they have like that smell. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's like a cream but it has little exfoliating things in it. I'm just gonna apply that to my face and I get really clogged pores right here, right here, and on my chin. So I'm gonna go ham in those areas and on my nose. But be a little bit careful around your nose because you can definitely bruise easily. <laughs> For my forehead and my chin, I'm literally just gonna like rub my face off. I love exfoliators where like you actually can feel where it's like rubbing. Is that weird I don't know but I feel like for me a liquid exfoliator where I can't like feel it physically scrubbing my skin I don't see as much difference maybe it's just like placebo effect I don't know but I'm just going ham with this exfoliator I'm gonna go rinse it off my face I'll be right back okay I feel like so clean right now after the scrub I'm going in with the tea tree cleansing pads but it kind of felt dry so I wonder if I have to like get the moisture everywhere let's see it smells so good oh my gosh I love tea tree I like definitely like things a little bit but it's supposed to I swear <laughs> so this I just literally am putting everywhere kind of as 
as like a double cleanse and a toner. I don't know if I would use one or two, but I'm just using one right now. This pad is a little bit dry though. And then just using it also on my neck. Wow, there's still stuff that came off after I cleansed with the micelle water and did that scrub. That's crazy. All right, now is when I would usually go in with moisturizer, but instead I'm gonna use the rose water face mist. Still can't see you guys. Sorry if I'm like cross-eyed, I legit don't know. Let's give this bad boy a try. I don't know if you have to shake it. Ah! I'm just gonna give myself a nice soak because this is what's gonna bring my face back to life and give it some moisture because it is dry right now. Oh wait, you know when you like first use it and it doesn't spray? Okay. Was that enough? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's it. That's the skincare routine minus the black African soap. That's coming in the mail. Let me put my glasses back on so I can actually see you guys. How do I look? Do I look glowy? Do I look pretty? Be honest. Let's take this off. Oh my gosh, I feel good. Obviously with a skincare routine, consistency is key and doing it for like at least a few weeks to see how your skin likes it. I'm excited to try this one. Oh my gosh, I just love skincare. I do. Anyway, now that we've done the products that Caitlin recommended, I'm gonna try these two new products from Trader Joe's. The vanilla lip mask says, this vanilla lip mask is poised to perk up your pout. Okay, alliteration. With shea butter, coconut oil, and vitamin C. Awesome. Cute little packaging. Guys, this literally looks like my Laneige lip mask. Like the packaging and everything. Wait, let me try and find mine. Look, like, oh my gosh. It's fully a dupe. This is what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, okay. All right. Let me try. Ooh, it's very, very soft. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love vanilla scented things. Oh my gosh. Look at it on the lips. That's cute. That's cute. That adds a nice little shine. Oh my gosh, guys. I forget how much this was, but it's definitely so much cheaper than this. I wonder how long it's gonna last. Honestly, I love the Laneige lip mask, but it doesn't even last that long on my lips. So I'm really curious about this one because it has like the shea butter, the vitamin C. It does feel a little bit thicker than the Laneige one, which I love because I feel like the thicker it is, the longer it lasts. Wow, that's so awesome. And it smells really good. I love vanilla. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And like the packaging is so like sturdy, cute, like literally so similar. Do you see this? Oh my gosh, this could be a new favorite. If you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments down below if you like it or not. I can't wait to see how long it lasts. Use as needed to moisturize and soothe dry lips. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this. I feel like it looks good too. This is awesome. Okay, last but not least, new Trader Joe's deodorant. Aluminum and baking soda free, unscented, phthalate and paraben free. Definitely didn't say that first word right. Effective odor protection formulated without baking soda. Is it because most that are aluminum free and all that free are with baking soda? Like why is it marketing without baking soda? I feel like baking soda is not bad. Is it? Gotta do my research. Apply liberally under arms. Hey, okay. So this is what it looks like. Let's take it off. Oh my gosh, why is this fun. It had this little cover on it. It really is unscented. Like it says it. Twist. Oh, 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 something just popped. Oh, oh, you guys hear that? Oh, it's the other way. All right, I just twisted it up. Guys, I'm excited. I don't know how I feel about unscented deodorant. Love that it doesn't have fragrance, but it's like the whole point of deodorant, so it like has a different smell. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> Okay, very thick, very like, maybe I should show you guys. Is that like TMI? It's like very solid. Like I'm like rubbing it into, I thought it was gonna be like go on like smooth or like melt into my skin. It's very like you have to rub it. Let's see if it, this is so TMI. Guys, I'm waxing my armpits, so literally don't judge. I wanna see if it left any like whiteness. Hold on, give me a sec. Oh, why did it like kinda not? <laughs> Sorry, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, it like doesn't really leave that much of like a white cast. I thought I was gonna look and it was gonna be like BAM cast for the ghost. Wow, guys, I wonder if this will work. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm not really gonna be sweating right now. Maybe I'll like try it before I go to the gym one day, but I did wanna see like the texture and how it felt, what it looked like. Seems pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if it works, but definitely worth a try. Let me see how much that was. The deodorant was $4.99 and then the scrub was also 
$12.99. And then for Whole Foods, the rose water was $12.79. And the tea tree oil cleansing pads were $8.79. This was really fun for me. It really was. I don't know if I gave you guys an up close on these yet, but here it is. And this was the rose water. I forget if I showed you guys this. If I did, just ignore me. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today while trying to score all these skincare products. Like I said, I'm gonna be trying out the skincare for a few weeks to see how my skin likes it. And of course, I'll update you guys on how it's going. Make sure you're following me on TikTok and on Instagram because I post more frequently on there. Guys, comment down below. Should I make a new TikTok? I'm thinking of making a new TikTok account because I think I'm shadow banned. Because I post so much and I get like three likes. Oh my god. But I heard that new TikTok accounts get more recognition. I don't know. Thinking of making a whole brand new one. But I have so many posts that I love on my old one. So I don't know. Can you guys please let me know down below? Like actually, do you think that would be beneficial or just not at all? Anyway, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share it with whoever. You know, spread the love. Comment down below a little rose emoji for the rose water. I don't know. If you've watched this far. I had so much fun making this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye guys. Love you.